The problem with online PvP survival games is someone has to police these servers. Well, what happens if the people policing these servers are the ones playing on them? What happens if they use this power to ban anyone attacking them? Well, what you're about to see is in my opinion categorical proof of Snail Games once again giving the tribe T an admin advantage and banning anyone who attacks T who has members from Snail Games in the tribe on the Conquest official servers of Ark. I have an interview with Hevs who has a first hand experience of what happened when him and his tribe attacked T. And what you'll see is that they exploit and use their ownership and admin power to unfairly ban tribes who attack them and control the servers to roll them back to gain advantage. Not only this, but I actually have some DMs from T members as to why the tribes who attack T might have actually got banned. Okay, so basically, we went over to T server yep. to grief after a uh, failed grief earlier, like scouting their base. So we went over, I don't know, maybe 12 of us. Yep. Uh, with the intention just to grief like a small little base. And, and this was the small base? Here. Yeah, this is the small base. It only had a couple heavies on it and planets. Yep. But uh, we start sniping, baiting them out. We had a uh, turret set up behind us a little bit. And yeah, we were baiting them out, shooting their teams, just griefing, trying to bait them out to come out and fight us. Yep. So, and as soon as we started to kill any of their dinos, and like maybe players as well, like they would instantly drop the server. Really? So they were dropping it, and you guys got kicked from the server. So yeah, as you can see here, I'll uh, I'll play from here. Yep. We're just sitting back sniping. We have um, three car chars set up, waiting for an ambush behind. Yeah, there goes the server. Ammo won't reload. Server starts yep. crashing. We're like, okay, this is the first time it happened. So I called it out as suspicious with a couple other guys, but a lot of us were optimistic. So we're like, okay, maybe not. Maybe, maybe it's you know just coincidence the server crashes right now. So server drops. Go to the next clip. Then we get back in and we start foot PVPing. We basically backed up. We're like, okay, if this is them dropping it, let's just get set up, try to bait them out and ground fight them. Yep. Um, they started bringing over tech. They set up tech gen. We let them set it all up because we wanted PVP, right? We're not trying to wipe this tiny base. We could have just see spun through the door yep. at the beginning when it was open. You're trying to have um, some fair and competitive PVP, trying to enjoy it. Yeah, we're just griefing. Try, yeah, yeah well, not even really griefing at that point. It's just looking for PVP. So eventually they bring over gigas or a giga. Okay, so right here. They throw the giga out. I'm like, okay, they're gonna try to push now, right? So I get on the shadow main and I instant stun the reaper. Yep. And our look at our three car chars just come charging in out of nowhere. Yep. So the reaper guy basically screwed that up. He's dismounted. He gets back on, tries to jump away. We have another shadow main guy dismount him. We're winning this fight massively. Three car chars versus one Giga and a Reaper. Yeah, they've got no chance. Mm hmm And then I think I go for another stun here. You can see the Giga's getting extremely bloody. I stun the Reaper guy again. I start chasing him. Fast forward to about here. They're Both their Reaper and their Giga are about to die. They're trying to run them back in the turret range. Yep. And then I think any minute now, the server uh, crashes. So that see that guy dies? That's uh, Adam sniping? Yeah. yeah. He kills one of their players. And then they start accusing him of cheating and they crash the server right here. Adam definitively was not aimbotting? No, he was not aimbotting or cheating He's, or anything. No. They... <laughs> yeah, so they call uh, it aimbot eventually, there. Eventually, yeah, they start calling aimbot, they, everything. Does Adam is, have his uh, clips? Get, yeah, he has clips. Shock has showed it on his stream too. So... This guy right here, I stun him, Muntage comes in, kills him. The server goes down. Look, you can see all the dinos aren't moving. As soon as we kill that guy, again, yep. the server goes down. Like, it's, it's every time we kill people or tames, they just drop the server. And it always rolls back to the same spot where we have- Oh, so the server's like rolling back. Or three. Yeah, it rolls back to the spot where we have two or three gigas on top of each other, and we're all like, right next, or car chars I mean, and we're all next to their Giga, 
Yeah. So we just jump on our car chars, bite, we kill their Giga Rider, and they instant drop the server again. Yep, so it was rolling back to where their stuff was alive again each time. Yep. Yeah. So look, you'll see me join here. I think, if, if I remember correctly, I either get on the Shadow Man or Giga here, but their Giga Rider... Yep, so this is the first fight, back to the first yep. fight again, yep. Yep. The Giga's there. The Reaper's unmounted behind us. Yep. So we dismount the Giga guy, he dies. And boom, he's dead. Look at the top, you can see Adam sniping people still. Yep. It's this naked naked guy that's constantly sitting next to him. He keeps killing him over and over again. Yep. He's literally not wearing armor and they're accusing him of cheating. <laughs> yep. Because they're bad. They're so, so their bad stuff's about to die. And they cheat, yeah. so of course they're going to accuse everyone else of cheating. That's just how they are. Yep. Their stuff's about to die, and I think it doesn't die, but it's about to, and they crash it. And it's down again. Yep. <laughs> the, the first time, we were like, okay, maybe not. But it, this happened, like, ten times. Yeah. Where we kept murdering them in this fight here, and they kept dropping it. <laughs> uh... Like, some people would be like, oh, no, it's just coincidence. Like, maybe you're killing them, and it's lagging the server, and it's crashing. It's like, no, no, no. No. Because... That's not how the game the works, especially part... on a small fight like this. The game can handle this, no worries. Like, there's no performance yep. issues here whatsoever. The, the only best way part this is, is I, I don't think I have it. I don't think I have it recorded, but um, it was on Shaka's stream. At this point, he started streaming. Yep. And he's showing. I think soon Adam gets banned, uh, wrongfully, and they make like a dev message saying like he was using third party to get an unfair advantage, which he wasn't. He was streaming yep. his thing in Discord. Shaka showed it on stream and everything like that. Um, but we get back in after um, Adam gets banned, I believe. And we're like, you know what? This has happened like 10 times. So we're just going to not kill them. We're going to pull our teams back and grab all the kits from the people that are not in the game. Yeah. Pull back. And guess what? Server does not go down. Yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. Okay. And so after this, what happens and how does it escalate? No, we're, to... we're still killing them here. But yeah. But anyways, we so server doesn't go down. We start PvPing again. But Adam is banned. So we're all kind of just like fed up at this point we're like yeah. these guys are clearly just abusing their power and their connections to snail games does look this guy dies as soon yeah. as this guy dies they crash it again yeah like i'm and showing so, clips of where it crashes but and anyways, so who, who are just for people watching this video who may not be aware who do we think t is related to and why why do they have this power they definitely have pocket devs in snail games yeah so so the theory is that T is connected to Snail Games, actual employees of Snail Games are in T, and they've got the capacity to take down the servers. Would you agree with this statement? Oh yes, 100%. Yeah. We, we get fed up at this point. So what we see here is the tribe T getting attacked by the island boys. Every time T starts losing, the server goes down. Now this is no coincidence. As can be seen by the proof there, every time a member of the T died or they were about to lose the fight, the servers would go down and roll back to the start of the fight. This was not in anyone else's favor but T. As you can see, it's clear, irrefutable proof that T was exploiting the servers and rolling them back. If any other tribe did this, they would be instantly banned from the servers if this amount of proof was given. This leads into our next point, because the island boys decide to fob T after this and fully wipe their base. And that's when things get really interesting for the reasons that T claim for the ban. So what happened after all this? You guys ended up fobbing them? Yep, we fobbed them. So you fobbed them, um, or the yep, rest of the we tribe did? we fobbed for about four or five hours. We did a boss fight on their server. We got LE, we set up a fob. And this was how long after this first initial fight? Four or five hours. No, yep. maybe three three or four hours. Yep. So it was, it was like 1 a.m their time and then when uh, people got banned was that when they were in the t, t base did t, t get pushed in yep so we spent about two hours probably if i had to guess pushing just they were so bad none of our teams were like dying besides like them picking stegos and stuff with the quest yeah. like that was the only stuff that was dying so we're just walking up the ramp slowly soaking and damaging and blowing up structures pushing fortnite up um literally on the cusp of wiping their whole base and 
like 95, 96 people get banned. And did they no say reason. what reason? <laughs> we got banned. We couldn't see the message in chat. Literally, everybody was banned. Um, I will say Omni was not. You can go look at his. I found on Omni's Twitch. video. Yep, yep. He was in the tribe, but he joined late. So yep. we think that they took a screenshot or like uh, the dev looked at who was all in the tribe before Omni joined and a couple of other guys. Um, so everybody that when they looked got banned, but everybody who joined after for like the last five minutes didn't get banned. But yeah. anyways, they globally banned our whole tribe because yeah. they were about to lose a raid. Yeah. And so no one in your tribe was def was cheating definitively. There was no one oh. cheating. No one so, was aimbotting from what I saw Shocker said. There was no one sniping even. You didn't bring fabricated snipers. Yeah, so, we made it a rule to not even bring fabby snipers. And this was the after the were... first fight. This was after that when Adam got banned. You made it a rule to not bring the fabricated snipers from that point, correct? When we when we went on the fob, yeah, we made yeah. it a rule not to bring fabby snipers. Yeah, because so we Adam had got banned for using one. Because yeah, we were using would you say shotguns and long necks? Yeah. Would you say T presumes instantly that when someone uses a fabricator, they're cheating because T does that themselves? Was T aimbotting? <laughs> at, the, at the end, you can watch Omni's um, his POV. He was calling out an aimbotter that was not in their tribe, but was helping them yeah. push our fob after the fight. So they had aimbotters? So they had, had aimbotters that weren't in their tribe because they knew yeah. that they could get around a rule or something because... <laughs> and then, so it's not just... even the whole tribe was banned. It was just a, a portion of it, and then Omni wasn't, wasn't banned still. Everybody that went to the fob got banned. But Omni... Um, but Omni wasn't because we think he joined late. But he still went to the fob. The... So that's a double standard that they've set. They're still yeah. not banning the whole tribe. They're banning a certain amount of people. And then they're leaving a few. So... They, they, uh, we think that they got a list of people. They banned that list, but Omni joined after they took a yeah. screenshot or a recording of the list. Yeah. And that's why he didn't get banned. And um, um, how are the bases on the main servers? Are the bases still intact or...? I'm not sure. I don't. I, I can't get it. I have so no one can get in to check. So. Yeah, but there's we still have, people on the, on the people, servers. I don't think they dev wiped yet, but yeah. they banned our whole tribes. So we just gave up. Like, there's no yeah. point in playing when you get eight, eighty or ninety members banned like instantly. Yeah. So is that a um, a global ban, or can you join on another account? It's a global ban. So you can't join on another account even. Nope. Nope. So. Would you say you believe this ban was very unfair? Extremely unfair. I mean, snail game, they literally were going to get wiped, so they had to ban us, and I'm assuming they rolled back the server. Yep, like, and there's a Discord for Conquest servers that deals with bans. Did did anyone have their uh, appeal listened to yet, or even even heard? No, so what happened, people that happened tried making Conquest appeals... Discord. Yep. People that tried making appeals like Shockist, I think Muntage might have. A few of yeah. our guys did. Um, they all tried making appeals, but instantly got banned without reason. From In the, the Discord. Discord. From the Discord as well. A Discord yep. that is leased by who? Who do you think? <laughs> Snail Games. So you would say that this is an unfair treatment and biased um, in favor of Snail Games who are exploiting their own servers. Would you agree with that? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. So they're using admin privilege and they're they're unfairly banning people who they deem a risk to their tribe so that they can have the advantage and win the servers. Yeah, I don't have the screenshot, but you can probably look back at Omni's VOD or yeah. get a clip. Um, there was a screenshot he pulled up of them talking about it in the Discord. Yeah. And the message was so, like, obviously uh, dodging everything. Dodging yeah. all the questions because one of the the snail devs or admins or whatever of these servers gave the most dodgy answer to anything that anybody was asking on why we got banned he yeah. basically he said like he got significant proof and cannot comment it at this time on what happened yeah, like okay. <laughs> he's usually really good at responding to aimbot accusations and banning cheaters really quickly on other servers but I'm not sure if he was the one responsible for what happened today. If I had to assume, maybe he got an influx of false reports and just instantly took action instead of investigating himself or somebody else did that was inside the tribe of T just got 
fed up with us, maybe the person that was taking down the server. So as can be seen here, it is very clear that T were in fact exploiting themselves and nothing happened to them. They faced no consequences. Furthermore, in DMs, a tribe member of T called Goddess was telling a tribe member from the Island Boys, Otters, she was telling Otters that she should not hang out with GG as they are bad people. So insinuating that the band might be related to them being friends with GG or T having the assumption that the Island Boys were GG. And further, T Goddess was implying that that the Island Boys were responsible for the poor server performance. When we can clearly see from earlier footage that they were the ones taking down the servers. What can be seen here is a high level of corruption as no members were able to refute their bans and all the members of the attacking tribes were banned and no members of T were banned in this scenario. And furthermore, none of their ban appeals were listened to. The problem is that Snail Games needs to start giving people the reason for their bans, like Rust do. Now for me this is enough proof, but there may be something we've missed. But either way, we're not going to know because they won't tell the tribe why they were banned, and I believe that this is very corrupt. Snail Games need to be held accountable for this, and they're going to ruin Ark Survival Ascended if they keep this up, so that's why I call them out every time they do this in videos. And you should too. If you guys want to make a difference, get on the Steam forums. Let everyone know on Steam that the publisher of Ark is corrupt and exploitive towards their game. That's where you hurt them the most. Because now that Snail Games stock is public, the more that we can get the word out that they are corrupt, the more that their stock will tank and people will come to the realization that this company is not a company that should be creating games. Hope you guys found this video interesting. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. And let me know in the comments what you guys think of this whole fiasco, and if you think that Snail Game even going to be capable of releasing Ark 2 and Ark Survival Ascended with the amount of mistrust they are sowing.